I want to start with something that came up even yesterday during the press conference, and that is that the show is kind of a first in the MCU universe because it's so dark, so intense. And I want to ask you how much this was intentional. And I'm asked, uh, did you let yourself, you know, be guided by the character of Maya Lopez? That is a real badass, I can say. Yeah, when you're making a story about Maya Lopez, who comes from really dark and violent and gritty comics in which, you know, she is a bad guy when we meet her in the comics. She was a bad guy when we met her in our universe in Hawkeye. And we just wanted to honor that. So I don't think we set out from go to make a TVMA show as a rule. We just never wanted to hold back what we could do with this character. And she is a badass. And Alakwa that plays her is a badass. And we just wanted to make sure that we were always pushing this show really far in terms of the gritty and violent and grounded tone. We wanted the action sequences to really kick ass. Sydney Freeland, our director, came in and it was her mission statement to make sure that Maya Lopez was badass and I think she really did a great job at doing that for us. So thanks to Sydney and Alakwa, we got this really unique tone for us at Marvel and uh, we couldn't be happier about it. Yeah, it's wonderful. And obviously the show kind of embraced a lot of representation, you know, I guess for you it can be a challenge but for me, the writing was exceptional because, for example, the way in which uh, the sign language kind of is, uh, you know, merged, merged into the storytelling is incredible. And that the time it kind of became a superpower itself because all the family of Maya. So I want to ask you something. How did you work, you know, on these elements? They are starting to so browse tools. Yeah, no, it, w it was amazing. We had uh, some deaf writers in our writer's room, so it started there. And then once we were going into real development or pre-production on the show, rather, uh, we decided that we'd be working with Doug Ridloff, who is a producer. He is deaf. We worked with him on Eternals. Uh, but we really wanted to bring him into the family on this one as one of the, you know, kind of creative leads, especially when it came to the way the characters communicated with Maya. If you notice, each character has their own very specific way that they sign with Maya. Some of the characters speak while signing, or what we call sim comming, uh, which isn't very common. If you're, if you're a really proficient ASL user in real life, uh, you could sign without speaking, but then there's a lot of people that aren't really good at signing in real life, and they can't help but speak while signing. So Doug worked with each of the actors to make sure they each had a very unique way of using sign language with Maya. It's one of the most special parts of the show, is seeing the different characters, you know, some of them struggle, but you could see on their face, they're putting effort in to communicate. And it, it was really, it made some characters really endearing. And then you meet a character like Bonnie, or when you see uh, Chula played by Tantu Cardinal. These are, Chula is a character that had a deaf daughter and a deaf granddaughter. She knows sign language, you know, fully. So she's someone that is very fluent, very proficient in sign language, doesn't speak while signing. Uh, and it was all came from Doug and, and he, that guy's a genius, man, but he, he really was able to work with each of the actors on their, their, it was so cool. Yeah, we just wanted to tell a really entertaining story about a really complex character, one of which the likes we've not really seen at the studio before. She's, she's really complex. She's got a lot of stuff going on emotionally. And then she is a character that is deaf and native. So we just wanted to make sure that while we were telling this story about this character that's such a badass, that she was authentically a deaf and native person. And we weren't, you know, shying away from any of that. Uh, or doing it in an inauthentic way that could be distracting from the story we were trying to tell. <laughs>